Hey all you people and welcome back in to another episode. So I kind of left on a cliffhanger uh, why Neela is the cover of this episode. But the Contessa is here. So I think we're just going to get into this one. escaped us in the prison is now hiding out in her castle estate it's a well-fortified gothic nightmare that would make any thief run in terror terrible or not that's where we're headed to sweeten the deal we've learned that the contessa who until recently was a secret member of the claw gang is in possession of the clockwork eyes the thievius raccoonist describes the eyes stopping opponents dead in their tracks transfixed in their gaze it doesn't take a genius to figure out what an accomplished hypnotist could do with such powerful artifacts. News of the Contessa's corruption has spread to Interpol. Constable Neela, being closest to the case, was granted a cash allowance to hire an army of local mercenaries. It looks like we're walking into a full-scale war. But we have to act now, before things go from bad to worse. Sly Cooper and the gang in a tangled web so that's why Neela's on the cover because we are going straight into a war zone and I guess we should just do our recon mission know your enemy I'm gonna be on it honest um, this intro area here looks more recognizable to me than the episode 4 intro area I have no idea why like, th I guess this has stuck in my mind more. Okay, here's the plan. First, take some recon photos around the area. Then make your way up to the re-education tower. <laughs> Looks pleasant enough. Oh, and stay clear of tanks. You know, so you don't get blown up <laughs> into little sticky pieces. I never would guess that that would be on things I should do. How are you? Interesting. So, at least from um, from what I remember from this, it's supposed to be like two halves. I, am I seriously not going to be able to make it without getting a clue bottle? Because that's going to suck. Um, I remember it being like two, and like not half, not like straight halves, but like... There's the inner pool side, which is the side our safe house is on, and then there's the, um... Uh, we're on the inner pool side, and then on the other side is the Contessa's, like, castle. Um, which I feel like is pretty self-explanatory, but... Uh, the fact that there was a guard in that canal just kind of threw me off a bit, I guess. Okay. Okay, we did dodge that. Nice. Am I supposed to... Oh, I'm supposed to take a picture of that. Okay. Hello, Mr... Boat. Okay. Uh, let's take it from here, I guess. Boat! It's a nice boat. Okay, uh, what else do we need to get? Let's see. Neela. Okay. Um, you know what? We're gonna hitch a ride on that back. <laughs> that is annoying. I should have looked at the things we need to take. Pay and it's gonna be gone. Great. Okay, I think this is a way back though. Kind of. With all the um hostilities that come along with going back, of course. <laughs> Alright, there is Neela's headquarters, which is apparently right outside our safe house, for some reason. Why? I feel like they reused that texture in the third game. Um, am I too far? Is it going to say, like, I need to get on that pagoda? Um, 
it's like inside. D. Like, how do I even get on that pagoda? Cause like I want to get a good picture of this, but I don't know how to do that, given um, current angles. So I think my best bet is going to be from here. And I just gotta do it fast. Okay. That's not that good of a picture. It's a pretty secure location. It'll take some doing to drive her out. I tried to I tried to take a better picture. It didn't work as well as I thought. Like, can we just walk across this bridge? Like, is that gate just sitting open? I mean, for all intents and purposes, yeah, it is. <laughs> Wild. Okay. Um. So we need to get a picture of the blimp in the re-education tower, right? Oh. Oh no, of a tank in the re-education tower, I think. Also, I didn't even pay attention. These guys just have the exact same things, right? Ooh, a gold medal. We've got a lot of bronzes. That's our first gold. Okay. It looks like that specific one stays like on this cycle. Okay, and then the blimp. I don't know where the blimp is. I assume if we get to higher ground, we can see the blimp because it's right there. Also, they definitely reuse that blimp texture and slightly change it. Okay. Hmm. In a place with a famous hypnotist, the re-education tower is where you expect to find the very sacred artifact that is known to hypnotize people. Why would why would you ever think that? Like I don't know why that would be what you think. That just feels kind of dumb to me. I, I don't know. Maybe that's just me though. Please tell me this is like. Okay, I was like, please tell me this is a way up. Boop, boop, boo. Okay, there we go, and in we go to the window. Uh. Bentley, there's more than just the clockwork eyes up here. <laughs> Why are you doing this? Neela, she set me up. I'm an honest cop. Of course you are. I've read your psychological profile. I know that you're honest. Then why are you doing this to me? Because, dear, you're honest. You see, by chasing after Sly Cooper, you learned too much about the Claw Gang and its spice operation. It was only a matter of time before you figured out that I was a secret member. So, when Neela gave me a chance to put you in custody, I took it. Coward. You're a disgrace <laughs> to Interpol. I'll make it my life's work to destroy you. Oh, I'm afraid your life, let alone your life's work, isn't going to last much longer. <laughs> Once I integrate the clockwork eyes into this device, your life's work will be whatever I tell you. I won't be brainwashed that easily. Quite right. It won't be easy. Or painless. But I will reprogram your mind, and you will take the fall for me at Interpol. Now, just stay back and relax. Go to your happy place and stay there forever. I don't think they've seen you. <laughs> Take a few photos and get out of there. I want to know. I've got to help Carmelita. She's in trouble here. There's nothing you can do now. Get the recon photos and come back to the safe house. I swear we'll find a way to help her. I feel like that hypnotism shouldn't be like painful. Inspector Fox like. Like, I don't know, that just sounds odd to me. The clockwork eyes. They seem to be routed through that control board. Get a shot of the console so I can decipher its make. 
Oh, that one. No. What console? This console? Okay, I guess I have to get a picture of these guys first, even though it just told me to. the terminal I'm supposed to be taking. Oh! <laughs> that makes a lot more sense. terminal should be hardwired to the systems in this tower. We need to find a way to get it online. All there right. we go. Okay. Head back to the safe house and we'll get a plan together. Contessa has put the castle on high alert. To get at the clockwork eyes, we'll need to subtly manipulate this conflict to our advantage. Here's the plan. Murray, sneak into the castle and kidnap the head of security. I want to ask him a few questions. Meanwhile, Sly and I are going to get a little paranormal. I'll slip into the crypts beneath the castle and put together a bad mojo bomb. It should be enough to destroy the mind shuffler. Slot, you capture a few local ghosts and drop them into Neela's headquarters. Hopefully the near-death experience will inspire her to purchase more mercenary firepower. We've all got our assignments. Good luck. <laughs> that is the strangest set of assignments I think I've ever heard Bentley say. Like, quite possibly the strangest thing that he, strangest sequence of things he's ever said. Alright, we're gonna go collect some bad mojo to make a bomb to stop the hypnosis machine. Sly, you need to, uh, grab some ghosts and drop them off into headquarters to scare, to scare Neela. Murray, you need to go, uh, we need to be really subtle. So we're gonna have you kidnap the captain of the guard and bring him back so that you can, so that I can interrogate him. None of that sounds subtle. Regardless, that's what we're going to be doing next episode. Uh, kidnap the general, mojo trap action, and ghost capture. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go and get the clue bottles too. Uh, that'll be the typical starting thing. Um, but yeah. Uh, I think that's all that we're going to do in this episode, so... Uh, thank y'all so much for watching this episode. If you like what you see, make sure to subscribe and leave a like on the video. Um, yeah, thank y'all so much for watching, and I'll see y'all next time. Peace.